please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we have Grant live in the studio with ASB, along with Bree live with Men's Volleyball. That's right, and then we're going to have Holden live on the magic window talking about blockchains. Sounds like a great show. I'm Micah Carlston. I'm Lucy Walker. And CHSCV starts right now. Welcome back. To start off the show, we have a story on Lily, tennis player here at Carlsbad. I'm Lily Nolte, and I'm the freshman class president. The summer before freshman year was all about trying new things for Lily. As well as signing up for freshman class president, she decided to give tennis a try. So I started playing tennis this past summer, right before freshman year. Tennis would end up becoming very successful for Lily with her making it all the way to Barnes on her first competitive year. My biggest tennis accomplishment was making it to Barnes with my partner, Cece, and we just made it pretty far into that tournament, and I'm really proud of us. Lily has not let her busy tennis schedule stop her from being the best class president she can be. Me and my vice president will meet with our advisor, Senor Rick, at lunch or before school just to talk about some of our activities or anything we might want to set up. For Lily, her main focus is social. She finds it important to include everyone in school spirit. Being class president, it's really important to get people involved in our school and just show more Lancer pride. Showing our Lancer pride is what you do best, Lily. Reporting for CHS TV with photojournalist Keely McElroy, from Carlsbad, California, I'm Faye Glenn. Thank you for that piece, Keely and Faye. Come see the Student Production Club's fourth annual original production, Forget Me Nots. The two-act play is entirely written, directed, and performed by CHS students. Tickets can be purchased at showticketsforyou.com. Shows will be Thursday at 7 p.m. and Friday at, two, at 4 p.m. CHS Baseball has a game today starting at 3.30 against Paloma Valley. Freshmen and sophomores will be at Poinsettia Park and JVs will be at CHS. Varsity Tennis also has a match against Mission Hills at 4 p.m. here at Carlsbad. Make sure to come support. ASB is planning a Mario Kart tournament for March. Sign up now in the ASB room. Now we have Grant live with ASB to talk about the recap for yesterday's blood drive and to give us more information on MORP. What do you have for us, Grant? Hey, good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live with some members of ASB to talk a little bit about the upcoming MORP dance. Now, Ava, when and where is this dance going to be held? So the dance is going to be held here at the school, and then it's going to be on March 26th, so make sure to come. Awesome. And now, Max, what's going to be there at the dance? Yeah, so I got three words to describe this dance. It's going to be lit, it's going to be crazy, and it's going to be pretty enthusiastic. So, you know, you guys come out there. It should be a good time. We've got a DJ. we got some ice cream. I mean... I think it's definitely going to be one you're going to remember in the future. Dude, that sounds like a lot of fun. And now, Cassie, what is the theme going to be for the dance? The theme's going to be Back to the Future, and it'll most likely be a blacklight dance, so make sure to wear white and bright colors. Awesome. And now before we send it back to the anchors, I've got a quick little trivia question for you guys. Do you guys know when Back to the Future was released? Oh, mm. Ava knows. No, you got to know. Max, no, I know. It was released March 26, 2022, Saturday. <laughs> See you there. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, hey, thank you guys so much for coming on. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, Grant. The 2022 Ninth Circuit Court Civics Contest is now taking place. The topic is the First Amendment and the schoolhouse gate, students' free speech rights. Deadline for entries is March 18th. Cash prices are given for the top three entries. For more information, see www.ca9.uscourts.gov slash civics contest. 
Applications for class counsel or ASB counsel for the 2022 to 2023 school year are now available in the AS Free Room or online at LancerNation.org. The deadline to submit applications is March 4th. The Collarsbad Equity Coalition is now accepting entries for their speech competition answering the question, what does equity mean to you? Video entries are due by March 1st. There's a $500 grand prize. Go to Carlsbad Equity Coalition for more details. Math Lab is available before school from 725 to 825 AM in room 7106. Stop by if you'd like some help. Switching topics, we now have Bree live with men's volleyball. What's up, Bree? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Luca, Sterling, and Cooper to talk about men's volleyball. So, Cooper, how has the, or how has the team looked this year? The team's looking uh, pretty good, and we're going to have some tough competition, so it should be a good season. All right, that sounds great. And then, uh, Sterling, I know you guys have a tournament this weekend, but uh, when's your next home game? Our next home game is uh, next Wednesday against Westview. All right, that sounds great. And then do you have to purchase tickets for the games? Uh, no tickets necessary. Just come out and support. All right, make sure to go support Lancers, and I'll send it back to Lucy at the desk. Thanks, Bree. Peer tutoring is available in the library. No point in his needed to drop in Mondays and Fridays before school and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school. All CUSD high school students have free access to Schmoot for test prep, homework help, and study skills. Log in through your Clever account. Reading Lab is available every morning during zero period in room 3211. No appointment is needed, just drop in. Orchestra will be having concerts coming up this Friday and Saturday. We now have Faye live outside the CAC on DeGero to give us more details. Faye? Thank you, Micah. It certainly is the time for musical performances with Choir putting on an amazing show yesterday and Orchestra putting on a show this weekend. I'm here outside the CAC where they be putting on a show with the band Trouble in the Wind. Trouble in the Wind has been labeled a folk, Americana, surf, and rock and roll band. This should be quite the set of shows to come see, so if you're interested in seeing some live music with your family, think local and come support our very own Lancer Orchestra. Back over to you, Lucy. Thanks, Faye. Now, to end off the show, we have Holden live on the Magic Window to talk more about blockchains. Holden, what do you have for us? Thank you, Lucy. Good morning, Carlsbad. Today, we have a great topic for you. Um, now, some of you may know what blockchain is, um, but I'm sure a lot of people don't, or a lot of people are under um, kind of a little bit of confusion. So first off, let's start, um, what is blockchain? So pretty much imagine it like a chain of information blocks, and that's exactly what it is pretty much. So here, um, let's say this is our starting block, and say you have some information in there, right? Well, it's given a hash, and the hash is actually kind of like, um, kind of like a serial number, um, and it makes it unique. Now, if that is shared over here to block two, Notice how block two has a different hash, but it also keeps the same um, previous hash. Um, so pretty much what that does is it makes every single thing traceable. Now, why is that important? Well, it makes tampering with uh, information uh, pretty much impossible, because say you try to tamper with this one, it's pretty much going to be seen. You're going to have to tamper with every single block in this chain. And while computers can do that at crazy speeds, that's just not very realistic. So continuing on, what is blockchain really used for? Well, pretty much it eliminates the need for trust. Um, you know, say you're giving a friend um, some information, well, they can change it, right? I mean, if you just do it the standard way, well, with blockchain, they can't. So you don't really have to trust people to give out information. So how is this going to be used? Well, it's going to be used in plenty of things. I mean, just look at here. I mean, here are just a few. Um, personally, I think a couple of the big ones, healthcare, I mean, that's going to be crazy. And then down here at voting, I mean, we send in ballots to one single place. And that is a very centralized uh, idea. When's the last time you guys sent a letter? I mean, maybe your grandma, maybe it's your grandpa. But seriously, like the way of the world, it's moving towards technology. And if we can start voting through blockchain, which is personally one of my um, predictions, I think that's just going to be crazy. Now, to close off, um, if you want to learn more about blockchain, um, you know, talk to Mr. Hendricks. He's the guy. Um, according to Moore's law, every 10 years, technology does um, double um, exponentially. So, I mean, 10 years ago, cloud, now it's blockchain. Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm going to send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Holden. That was a very interesting topic. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to go support baseball and tennis today. Make sure to make it a good one, Carlsbad. We'll see you next time.
questions about Naviance, please contact your counselor. Now let's take a break from the announcements and send it out to Landon Miller live at the beach by DeJero Technology to talk about King's Tide, a rare Three, event happening here in Southern two, California. Landon. Take Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Landon Miller here standing on top of the Turnarounds Bluff to give you guys some information on the rare occurring King's Tide. Hi, I'm Jacob Clark. Occasionally on CHS-TV, we'll broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. This technology is officially called virtual production, and it's pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more Lightcraft segments, and of course, every day we'll bring you magic window reports, live coverage via satellite, and of course, live guest conversation in our studio. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. <laughs>